Hey guys, Reggie here and in this video we're going to talk about the new Figma slide deck feature. Now this new feature is going to enable you to create presentations with ease and it's going to basically blend in with your Figma design workflow. So I'm extremely excited about this and I also want to remind you that I recently launched an ebook on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in learning more about how to enter the field in 2024, feel free to check out the ebook but now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're back in Figma and the very first thing that you're going to notice is that whenever you create a new file, you're going to have three options. New design file, FigGem, and now the third one, which is going to be the slide deck which we're going to select. And as you can see, we're going to be greeted with a few different options of different templates that we can utilize for our presentation. So in this case, we're going to select this one right here and you can view the template and either just add one single page by clicking on pretty much any of these pages available or you can add all slides. Now I'm going to add all slides in this specific scenario so as you can see now we have all of these lights opened and for the very most part it's going to be pretty simple to edit and adjust this you know we can reorganize them we can press on the back in order to remove a slide and for the very most part you can easily edit the text and uh, also the colors. Uh, one very interesting part is that uh, you can actually adjust uh, the template uh, from uh, this section right here. So for example, say that I want to change uh, the highlight uh, instead of uh, having it uh, in uh, this uh, yellow tone, I just want to have it uh, in uh, this uh, blue tone. I can actually adjust this uh, and uh, <clears throat> this is going to essentially be easily adjustable also in uh, the other elements uh, within uh, the file. So you can easily adjust that uh, or even uh, just uh, adjust the entire style. You can uh, also adjust the tone overall. So this is pretty cool. So you have this uh, uh, AI output uh, which uh, is essentially going to change uh, the text and uh, you know the content to either be between uh, concise uh, and professional or you know expandable casual so you can mix and match uh, you know the type of uh, tone and uh, this is going to adjust automatically how the presentation is uh, going to behave so quite cool again these are all ai beta features so i'm expecting uh, a lot more to come in uh, future ones but uh, overall uh, this is kind of like the, the basic of uh, uh, the main uh, building blocks. Uh, now another cool feature is going to be the animate uh, which uh, of course nobody wants to look at uh, DAO presentations so they added some uh, basic animations which are extremely similar to what we're used to as designers in uh, Figma. So I can actually go ahead and uh, utilize for example a dissolve uh, animation over here and uh, if I try and uh, present it, which by the way, you have two options. You can present uh, this uh, presentation in a regular way, so you're not going to see any presentation notes, uh, or alternatively, you can actually go ahead and uh, maybe add some notes below and uh, say that uh, this is an example, and I can uh, go ahead and uh, click on present plus notes and uh, this is going to enable you to have the main presentation which uh, probably you can have it on an, another monitor or on a projector and uh, over here you're going to see the actual presentation with the notes on the side so pretty standard it's uh, things that we have already seen in other softwares uh, like uh, Canva or I believe also Keynote so nothing uh, too crazy but definitely nice to have and uh, if i click uh, on uh, x uh, and i go back to the actual original presentation you can see that the bulk uh, of uh, the elements uh, that and the tools are going to be at the very bottom so you can use the uh, regular you know scale move tool you can add text uh, directly from here you can add the images. So I won't really go into like 
too much uh, detail around this uh, because I think for the most part this is uh, going to be self-explanatory. Uh, you can add elements uh, such as you know text. Uh, so very similar to FigGem, I would say. If you already know how to utilize FigGem, uh, this is going to be a breeze. Uh, tables, of course, uh, if you're going to make uh, sense in uh, some instances. And this is particularly cool. So you can actually add live interaction within presentations. And uh, these are the components which makes me excited in the sense that uh, this is really where <clears throat> Figma slides uh, can uh, uh, come in uh, in a comp with a competitive edge uh, compared to say other tools like Canva. Like previously, um, myself I've been using Canva for presentations because uh, it's really really easy to use. We didn't have Figma slides before, but uh, now I'm actually considering uh, switching because I really like to have everything uh, within a single tool ideally. And um, yeah, so you can have polls. You can have uh, you know stamps, uh, uh, alignment items, so things like like this are particularly cool. You can have boats uh, directly on the presentation, and that since uh, all of this uh, is a collaborative uh, software, so you can actually collaborate uh, with uh, other designers, stakeholders, members of your team. It's uh, really easy to you know create uh, an extra layer of uh, depth uh, when it comes to these dynamics. Of course, you can leave comments uh, wherever you want, you can tag people just like you usually can in, uh, in Figma. And uh, also over here you have the assets. So this is very similar to what we've already seen in FigGem. And uh, you can actually add uh, from a library. So for example, over here I have your library icons so you can utilize those icons directly here this is one more point compared to say using a software like canva because uh, over there yeah i do have icons but they're generic icons but now what we can do as designers is utilizing those same icons in a very easy way to implement uh, directly in figma and uh, over here uh, you can see that there is this uh, design mode which uh, requires a design plan and uh, I would assume it's just going to be like a, a mode uh, or just it is a really interesting feature a design uh, um, mode which is going to enable you to have uh, design capabilities directly over here so extremely uh, interested in seeing where this is going this is just scratching the surface so this actually just released so i'm uh, really curious about uh, the very next months and the years to follow if you have any questions regarding this or if you want to point out anything in particular feel free to leave a comment below and i'll see you in the very next video